What is this all about? Is there such a thing on earth as the gate into hell? Suffice it to say, if there was, then the Paris catacombs would qualify as such a place. Moreover, on visiting it, you may get that impression. This is because it looks more like a dungeon full of skulls, although the story behind it is not what you think. But you are allowed to think the worst and imagine that it's the creepiest place on earth. And we're certainly with you on that one. So between its reputation as the gate into hell and the heap of human bones kept there, Let's see if your imagination is close enough to the real deal. The Catacombs of Paris, as the name may suggest, are underground burial places right smack in the vicinity of Paris, France. So the next time you visit Paris and mount the Eiffel Tower, know that beneath your feet is arguably the creepiest place on Earth. The Catacombs hold the remains of over 6 million people. These catacombs are located in a network of tunnels that were originally used as stone quarries long ago. The catacombs start from a former city gate called the Barrier d'Enfer, which is translated as Gate of Hell, and then they go southward. And spoiler alert, that's where its otherworldly nickname comes from. The tombs were created to solve the problem of overflowing cemeteries in the city. The work to prepare the catacombs began after a series of basement wall collapses happened around the Holy Innocents Cemetery in 1774. This made it urgent to find a solution for the crowded cemeteries. Starting in 1786, remains from most of Paris's cemeteries were moved to a mine shaft near the Rue de la Tombe Issoire, using covered wagons during the night. Apparently, the movers of the remains couldn't go and come as they pleased except under the cover of night. Speaking of which, when you go to the catacombs, there's a sign above that says, Stop! This is the empire of death. People in Paris, especially those who were well off, were curious about the catacombs from the beginning. One of the first visitors was the Count of Artois in 1787. At first, only a few people were allowed to visit each year with permission from a mine inspector. But later, more visitors were allowed, and any mine overseer could give permission. In 1833, the catacombs were completely closed because the church didn't want human remains on display, or more like holy smoke. At some point in the intervening years, the authorities started allowing visits every day. Again, in September 2009, the catacombs were closed because someone vandalized them but they reopened on December 19 of the same year. The catacombs were also closed to the public during the COVID-19 pandemic, but reopened on June 16, 2020, with new rules and guidelines. And trust us when we say that these rules and partial closures are there for a reason, because a few notable incidents have happened, and here's why. Deep under the streets of Paris, the catacombs look like the pit of hell. These bones are stored in a vast network of tunnels that stretch for miles beneath the ground. As mentioned, the catacombs were created in the 17th century to solve the problem of too many people dying in the busy city of Paris. So the officials dug up a lot of the bodies and put them in the old stone mines under the city. For many years, the bones were just scattered around. But in the early 1800s, they were arranged in fancy patterns during renovations. There's a small section of the catacombs that tourists can visit, which is nicely decorated. However, there are many more tunnels that are off-limits and very dangerous. Some explorers who ventured into those forbidden areas got lost, confused, and even died in the dark depths of the catacombs. Creepy. People say the catacombs are one of the scariest places in the world, and they believe that the gates of hell are hidden somewhere down there. You'd remember, we mentioned how that designation came about, but could it really be pointing to something real? It might very well be that there are more than just ghosts haunting that place. In 2010, an explorer went missing in the catacombs, and his final moments were recorded on a video camera. The footage shows him exploring and then getting scared by something. He drops the camera and runs away into the darkness. The camera kept rolling until its battery died and another explorer found it later. Some people doubt if the footage is real, 
but some think that maybe the man went crazy and crossed into the gates of hell. If so, then those on the other side can also come through to us, like this. One of the most famous ghosts in the catacombs is said to protect a group called the cataphiles. These are people who explore the forbidden parts of the catacombs. The ghost was originally a doorman at a local hospital. One night, he went into the catacombs through an entrance in the hospital. Some say he was looking for hidden alcohol. Unfortunately, he got lost and his candle went out. He died down there. 11 years later, his body was found and they identified him by the keys he had from the hospital. His body is still in the Paris catacombs, along with his ghost. People say he wanders around, whispering in people's ears and blowing out their candles. And there's more. Many believe that other spirits wander in these tunnels too. They think these spirits were moved from their original resting places. Some people even claim that dark rituals have taken place in the deep parts of the Paris catacombs. Would you be brave enough to visit this famously haunted place? Even the tourist section of the catacombs is like a maze, and that's just a small part compared to the 200 kilometers of chambers that are believed to exist under Paris. And some of these tunnels are off limits. Perhaps that is where the entrance to hell can be uncovered. But here's a little tour of ours on your behalf. Right before we jump into the last part, if you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. So, you enter the first section of the catacombs, where chambers filled with bones come into view. There are stacks of bones piled up in an orderly manner, stretching far back. The ends of the bones are visible, and the space is decorated with neatly arranged skulls. It's important to note that these are actual human bones, which adds to the intrigue. The sight is quite fascinating, especially observing the row of skulls. Their conditions vary, with some in better shape than others. In some instances, the skulls are completely cracked open, revealing the thickness of the skull and the fused skull plates. A few skulls still have their full jaws intact, but the majority show signs of deterioration, with cracks and damage. There is a barred off section that catches your attention. Interestingly, a part of the wall, constructed entirely of human bones, has crumbled, causing the bones to spill out onto the floor below. As you continue your walk, various skull designs catch your attention. Some skulls are arranged in love hearts, crosses, or simply lined up, while others are noticeably missing. Certain parts of the catacombs are quite dark. Although there is sufficient lighting, you must realize that if the lights were to go out, it would become pitch black. The presence of water dripping through the ceiling creates small stalactite formations, adding to the eerie and damp atmosphere. There is a moss-covered skull that stands out in this particular section, resembling a freestanding pillar that extends all the way to the ceiling. The rows of skulls and bones continue, with more skulls reaching up to the low ceiling. The cramped space requires that you be cautious, and the ceiling is so low that your head might touch it if you're standing straight. Now you can look in the opposite direction, and you'll observe the vast number of bones stretching far into the distance, leading to unexplored chambers beyond. In short, you're deep underground in the streets of Paris. Unfortunately, as you walk, you can't help but notice that some disrespectful individuals have defaced the skulls with graffiti, which is greatly disappointing. Then you stumble upon a secluded spot and decide to explore a little further. The tourist section you are standing in is just a small part of the extensive catacombs. And there are in fact cataphiles, or explorers, who venture into uncharted areas and document their findings for the benefit of others. You'd agree that those cataphile guys must have nerves of steel. But really, what do you suppose lies beyond the tourist section? The tour has suddenly come to an end.